Hello all. Today we are going to learn a very important skill of filling a form. As we start our careers and become more independent, we come across many forms that we need to fill. If we make any mistakes while filling these forms, it can become a big problem for us. Let us look at some examples of where we fill up forms. For admission in a school or college, applying for an aadhar card or voter id applying for a driving license applying for a pan card for opening a bank account applying for a birth or death certificate for applying for a loan or a credit card applying for a passport or visa to travel abroad for investing in mutual funds or stocks applying for health and life insurance and many more as you can see all the above are very important for all of us to live comfortably and safely in society the first thing you need to remember is that all your information needs to be exactly the same in each of these forms as you will be filling most of these forms in english You need to be very careful about the spelling you use for each name. If you enter the wrong spelling for your father's name in your school admission form, your certificate will show the wrong spelling. If your school certificate has the wrong name, it might not match your Aadhar card. If that does not match, you will find it difficult to open a bank account or apply for a passport. If you do not have a bank account, you will find it difficult to find a job or start a business therefore it is very important to pay attention while you are filling up any form always enter your name in capital letters my name is aditi r sharma so i will enter my full name as aditi raj sharma in caps and then double check if my spelling is correct A D I T I space R A J space S H A R M A. If the form is asking for my f- first and last name, I will fill in Aditi space Raj as my first name and Sharma as my last name. Always check the spelling twice after you fill it in. The same thing is followed to fill in my father's or mother's name. As you can see, I am filling in Somesh space Raj space Sharma and Geeta space Sharma. Date of birth is again a very important piece of information where many people make mistakes. In India, we usually fill forms in the format of D D M M Y Y Y Y, which means date first, then month, and then year. Now you should always remember that there should be two digits for date and month. For example, if my birthday is on first June two thousand two, I will fill up zero one zero six two zero zero two. Again, check it twice after filling it up. all your documents should show the same date of birth now when you fill in your mobile number ensure that it has 10 digits and read it out loud 2 to 3 times after you fill it in i am filling in my number 984509845 now i will read it again 984509845 zero the next is very important as many of us make a mistake in this when we type make sure to fill your email id with extra attention always fill your own email id as a lot of important information will be sent to you through email make sure you check the spelling and what you have typed after filling it sometimes we forget to add at or a dot in between gmail.com this can cause a lot of issues for you as the important mails will never reach you here i'm filling in my email id 
aditi09 rs at gmail dot com. I will read again and check the spelling is correct. And gmail dot com is written correctly. Now we have to move to address. Make sure that your address is correct and matches the address given in your government ID. So when I am typing my address, I will check my Aadhaar card and ensure that the same address is typed in every form. Many forms will have more information that you need to fill. But if you practice these simple steps, you can be sure that you will not face any serious problems because of a form. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please use it when you are filling up any form in the future. Thank you. All the best.